Hey, good evening, everybody. It's a real honor and a pleasure to be here. And it's so hard to express the emotions from the people in this room. And when you have people who are pioneers who cut a path through the jungle, it's always a tough thing to do. So I consider it an honor to be in front of people who have such tenacity and have such perseverance and take their dream and work with it no matter what happens. And the excitement of seeing you people take a step out of the ordinary. You would make America what it is to never give up, to do the job, to do it 100%. And if it falls, I'm going to do it again. So conviction is a large part of any business. And how do you communicate that effectively? How do you get the feelings out? I'm going to ask a few questions just to set the stage. We're going to talk to the students first. Tell me, uh, is it Katrina? It's Katrina. Katrina, what do you see when I say blue? Real quick, real quick. Water, what do you see? What do you see? Quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on. Slow, come on. What do you see? Oh, oh, the first time in 20 years somebody said it. There is an analytical genius. 99.9 .9 people say my life size, your coat, your shirt. See, we, we think in word pictures, we don't think in words. So when you get down to technology and you get down to presenting new ideas and new concepts, it's difficult for people to get in your head because you are the leaders of the free world. America is ahead of everybody in technology, in design, in thinking, in think tanks, in performance. Everything is here in America. And yet we have trouble getting that across to our own constituents in this country. The problem is how do we communicate our ideas to other people. And it's got to be a combination. You have to have the emotion in it. You have to have the feeling in it. And the only way to do that is through word pictures. You can send out emails all day long. <laughs> delete, 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 delete. But if you have an interaction with the word picture, with the video, what you're going to see tonight is a method, a vehicle, a tool, and system. I was very fortunate all the way back, and I don't want to talk about how far back, but at LSU, I was in pre-law, and they brought in a machine one day called a VCR, and we practiced, and we could immediately see ourselves back. Where heretofore, we had to sit there and go click, 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 click on the old 16 millimeter, sit the film out, come back a week later, and we'd see ourselves scratching our butt, or pulling our shirt, or picking our nose, or whatever it was. And now you could do it instantly. You could come back and immediately have a critique, and it increased the performance of athletes, of businessmen, of preachers, of teachers. And I got so enamored with it that I, I was already doing research in the basement for attorneys, and I said, goodbye, I'm going to be in the communications business. So for the last 45 years, believe it or not, I had a mentor who was in this room, and he and I were on the mountain with Moses, Ben Gage and I. <laughs> go back a long way. And he's the one that burned the bush, incidentally, not me. <laughs> and so the net net end result is that Ben engaged, uh, I was looking for an attorney, I live in Dallas, and somebody said there's a guy that is in the video business all the way over in California. And I contacted Ben, and he put together something that was absolutely incredible. He got me into Warner Brothers, he got me into all the studios. We started marketing what at that time was called special interest science, et cetera. And at that point, we fell in love. Ben put together a number of people right here in San Diego with business plans that involve video. There's an attorney here who's now considered the number one HR attorney in the United States that Ben got started. We shot his first videos, and today he speaks to CEO clubs all over the world, considered one of the top HR attorneys. So what I'm going to do tonight is talk about yeah, Don Finn, somebody said his name. Yeah, Don, yeah, we, we shot his first video, Ben and I did. I guess that was right after Moses, Ben. <laughs> but it was a long time ago. And so this industry has changed dramatically. And if you just take a video and put a video up, it's a little boring. So what we created is called Look em in the Eye Video. So if you're on giving a presentation on a product, on a service, or anything, and the video just rolls on. So what you're going to see is I created a few years ago what's called a dual screen. When I'm talking on the video and I get too long, I put print out on the screen. Or I put animation of some type. Or I put people walking and talking. So you have this interaction to get the emotion tied into it. 
because we do think in word pictures, except one genius here who said <laughs> B-L-U-E for the first time in 30 years. But we think in word pictures. So the concept that we're going to show you, I brought clips from five or six different types of businesses that we have worked with over the years. And what we do is we interact throughout the whole thing with doctors, with scientists, with whatever it is. So you can get that interaction at the same time on your website. And if you want to have a download of an article, some people like to stop and read an article. Some people like to watch a video and get the entire essence that way. So what we call it is look them in the eye. There's a lot of videos out there today with the, the cartoons and the animation and everything else. We believe, or we have proven now, have proven with a number of genres, that if you look people in the eye, the webinars today, all the slides, who's behind the scenes, who's there, the credibility is waning in that venue tremendously. So if you look in people in the eye and you interact with them and you change the venue on the screen continually, you see how it could get them involved, and especially with people like you who are coming out with something new and different. You have an opportunity to present it, put it up on a screen, you're still talking, et cetera. And I rest my case. I mean, what has Oprah Winfrey ever done? She's interviewed people. She's brought out the best in them, and this is what this venue can do. So, Scotty, we're going to take you through a few different venues and show you how it works and how you can communicate with people. If you or somebody you know suffers with a wound that just will not heal, and quite often this is associated with diabetes, but a local company may have found a earth shattering solution here. Uh, Michael, do you remember Ken's story? I do remember Ken's story. Yeah, he was a insulin diabetic that uh, had a chronic wound on uh, the plantar aspect of his foot, and he was he needed a transplant, but obviously, uh, I believe it was UCI could not perform the transplant as long as there was an active infection or even a wound on his foot. And uh, again, after normal conservative wound care was administered and that did not work, um, he healed relatively. What? Really quickly with this system. For six years of going to foot doctors and having the wound debris back to put in the air, when uh, Dr. Wilson said, you know, there's a new treatment. We've got a VHT treatment, and, you know, we're going to get this wound healed Notice up. the interaction and, going on, know, talking, I'll printing. I see it. I've gone through this for six years. Nine weeks, 18 hours is what it took. And in 18 hours, I saw it. It was astronomical. His one wound was 247 cubic centimeters. That's almost like a grapefruit, isn't it? Yes. And the second wound was 134 cubic centimeters. The one wound, the smaller one, I recall, actually completely came to a closure point. The second wound came to a point where it was a, I believe it was a candidate for surgical closure. What's this called? That's correct. This is a tremendously effective way to save the limb because not only do complex wounds result in high cost, but many times they result in amputation. The, the, the infection was so bad that it had to require amputation. And it was at that point where I started to look for alternative uh, treatment because they wanted to give me a below the knee amputation and I, I was not ready for that at this point. You just weren't ready, you were looking for other treatments. I did a little research online and found uh, Adrian's company and looked at the research and it looked very promising. Um, went to my doctor, she prescribed the treatment for me uh, because I had terrible the circulation to your to your feet is compromised, and, uh, and, and you know, but but to be able to turn to cure care, you know, for a procedure that is life saving, because I mean that's literally what you guys did. Well, you can tell I love it. Uh, it saved me. It saved my life at that point. It saved my limb, and I will always be a big fan of this. Okay, the one thing I wanted you to notice that you're branding the whole time. The name of the company's there, even though they're different characters involved in espousing the virtues of what Adrian has created. So what you do, and you'll see the next one, is a whole different frame. We design a template that brands your company. The lower third has always got your email there, your uh, 
website, whatever it is that you want to espouse for people to look at, it's always in front of them. But you're having the interaction going on the entire time with people who are involved in this process. So the net net end result is you build what's called a dripping campaign. Um, what's two times two? Five times five. Six times six. Nineteen times seventy-eight. <laughs> So we only have a certain amount of memory in terms of our bank up here of how we learned in the process, how we learned. And you have to give people word pictures to understand the essence, especially with you people who are creating new ideas and new concepts. When I first met Adrian and started talking about what he did with vaporous hyperoxia therapy, they, and, 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 and they said, you finally went over the hill, Russ. What the heck are you talking about? And so we create pictures. We show, we show the mist coming out. We show the person putting the foot in. And we stop it. And at the same time, we put something up here with a doctor who you just saw espousing the virtues of what's going on. And so you brand your company. You brand your product. You brand your service. But, but I'm not going to spend any time on this. You know what's happening today on the internet and communication. YouTube is absolutely overrunning emails. The video is the answer because, as we saw, 99% of the people that were asked think in word pictures. They think in blue. They think of their wife's eyes. They think of an island, whatever. She saw B-L-U-E, strange. But the net net end result is you can keep your name in front of them and have the interaction going on to tell your story, whatever that story is. It didn't make any difference. If you would have had the hanging thing up there while you're talking about it, you're measuring over here but you have the finished product while you're doing it. And so you can interact with your audience and they get a clear picture of what the net net end result is of what you want to accomplish. Okay, Scotty, let's look at another one. Russ? Yeah. Can you just adjust your mic? It's kind of rough. Okay, I got it up. Is that better? Hello, everyone. My name is Russ Chasen, and many of you know me because I asked you to come to visit this site. A left word has sent you a message. A friend of my friends asked you to come and visit this. And or if you were looking for a business opportunity and were directed here, either by myself or someone else. The whole purpose of this site is to validate for you what many business experts are considering to be the largest business opportunity for the average person, meaning a, a business that we can participate in for under a few thousand dollars and create tremendous, tremendous cash flow and residual cash flow for many, many years to come because of the vehicle, the method, the tool, and the system that we can plug into this automated system. So the purpose is to validate a few points for you and then to send you to one of the most electric, professional. So you have the opportunity as you're presenting here to let them know that there's additional information coming and they can go get all the technical information, they can get all, all the white papers, they can get all the research, whatever it is but you continually have your interaction going on of what you want to communicate with a very simple video. And then you can drip on the people week in and week out, week in and week out. There's all kinds of tools today that you can load 30 videos in on what day you want them to go out. And if you don't believe me uh, that this is the answer to long-term marketing or profitable marketing, just watch QVC, watch Home Shopping Network, 24 hours a day, the same thing over and over and over. And so the average person buys after, right now, 11 views before they ever purchase anything. It takes 11 times for them to see something on QVC or on television to buy. Why should we be any different if we're introducing a new product? You have to be in front of them on an ongoing basis. Business websites you've ever seen, and should you choose to participate, that would have your name behind it. Here's what it's all about. I'm going to ask you a couple common sense questions, and that's going to be all of it. I just wanted to look you in the eye because so many people are skeptical today about opportunity, 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 and they start to look into it, and it's a nightmare. So I'm here to look you in the eye and say this is real. And I'm going to do it with a couple common sense questions. Stop and think about this for a moment. What product in the history of mankind or service in the history of mankind that everybody on the planet is participating in, in every country of the world, from nine years old to 99 years old. Stop and think about it. What is it? Was it the VCR, the internet? No, it is the cell phone. Fastest growing 
product or service in the hands of more people than ever in the history of mankind. Inside of that now comes text messaging. That's what this is all about. The most effective way to communicate in the world today because everybody has a cell phone on. Every time it goes off, they okay. check it out with it. So there you go. You're telling them there, and there's Bush while the president of another country is there looking at his text, and you're making the point. Pardon? And so what, what we're talking about is a lot of this is a little bit dated. You could put something that's very current up there where some dignitary is talking and somebody's sitting over there. The best one I saw recently, they were showing the floor of Congress, and somebody was up there speaking, and 90% of them were sitting there doing their text. Nobody was paying attention to the speaker. They could care less. And so the bottom line is, again, down here, you can have your company. You can have it up here. You can, you can design these templates to where you have an ongoing repetition face on the Internet, where your, uh, your, 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 your mark, your look, your style, everything that you want can be designed in a template and it can go on and on. In three to five minutes, 97% of all text messages are open. And I'm not going to go into all those details because I'm going to send you to the most electric okay. website. Okay, you go to Yeah, play that one. Hello, my name is Russ Chason, and welcome to your family. No, it's not a mistake. I did indeed say your family. In the next few minutes, I'm going to prove to you that you actually are a member of our global family here at CCN, the Carbon Central Network. You're indeed an integral part of our family because we all share one and only one component on our daily lives here on planet Earth. Stop and think about it for a few seconds. What is it that every human being on planet Earth shares and shares alike? And without it, would we die very quickly? Just because you can't see it and you can't reach out and touch it, we all tend to take it for granted. We seem to think that it belongs to us and us alone. But in fact, it belongs to our united family around the globe. The gift that we all share as one global family is the air we breathe. Without fresh, clean air supplying oxygen to the billions of cells in our body every minute of every day, we would die within minutes. So what I want you to do is really, really stop and think about it for a few minutes. Science has proven that we can go, what, up to 30 or 40 days without food, 5 to 10 days without water, but we absolutely positively cannot live more than 10 to 15 minutes without air. It really is the one and only thing that we all share globally and creates the love and responsibility we need to share with our united global family. So, welcome to your global family here at CCN, the Carbon Central Network. Let us all stop for just a moment and pause and ask ourselves a very serious, serious question. If you knew, and I mean you absolutely positively knew, that you had the answer to save a family member's life, and it would cost you just pennies to do it and very little of your time, would you do it? Well, I think the answer would be, of course, yes, I would. Well, take a deep breath right now. Just breathe in and blow out very slowly. And picture in your own mind's eye that you can see that tiny cloud of air that you just exhaled. That tiny single breath will now travel around the world and help to keep your global brothers and sisters alive and well with life-giving oxygen. The problem is that each and every tiny breath on the planet is becoming more and more polluted each and every day from environmental pollution that's all around us. One of the main problems contributing to worldwide massive pollution of air is the destruction of the rainforest throughout the world. Okay, you can stop that one. So, so as you can see, we go on then to explain what's going on with the rainforest. We give statistics, and if you're not aware of it, 700 yards of rainforest is being burned every 60 seconds around the world. It's just sucking the oxygen out of planet Earth on an ongoing basis. So that's another venue. When you want to educate people, we go into how we are building cities inside of the rainforest for the indigenous people and teaching them how to farm and not burn up the rainforest to get cash. So there's a lot of humanitarian things you can do on this type of video to share it with the rest of the world. Next one, Scotty. Hello everyone, my name is Russ Chason and I want to thank you personally for 
taken time from what we know in today's world is probably a very busy schedule. You know, I also want to thank the person who invited you to come here today to visit with us. And once this is done in the next few minutes and we introduce you to a concept that's going to change the course of your business, you're going to want to pick up the phone and give them a personal thank you. The purpose of this little quick overview video is actually nothing more than to validate what's going on around you and show you a method, a vehicle, a tool, and a system that you can plug into to enhance your business dramatically. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk over the years, especially in the last few years, about this thing called social media. And if you boil it down, in essence, to what it really is, it's just basic communication. Always has been, always will be since the beginning of time. But the concept of social media, the integration of family and business and worldwide communication is something relatively new on the board. So what everybody's trying to figure out, how can we take this wonderful thing called Facebook, where we get to see our family and friends and who's doing what and old acquaintances, and apply it to business? That's what this is about today. We're going to introduce you to something called Facebook domination. And I know that's a powerful word, and we're going to validate for you when you go and look at a recorded webinar, it's going to tell you exactly how you can change the course of your business through Facebook. And the reason we can do that. So again, as you can see, you can present things in an interactive method to tell them where you're going to send them later on to a recorded webinar. Part of the problem is repetition, 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 repetition. For people who are looking at a new idea and a new concept, how do, you, how do you stay in front of them? How do you do it on a regular basis? Well, you give them information and tell them you have more information coming. And what we do is we set these people up on a subscription basis. And the whole essence of every one of the videos you're looking at is simply this. We're looking for people who are looking for us. So we go through the prospecting process and people who are interested in a certain product or service through repetition, we actually ask them when we send out the first few videos, if you're not interested in this, please press the red button below. But if you do it on a continuing basis through repetition, two times two is four, 17 times eight, nobody can get that. But if you do it on a regular basis, the cream will begin to rise to the top and you will begin to see people who will download your white papers. They're going to view your videos. They're going to go back and look at them again. You can archive them on your website. We're doing this with Adrian right now. We've filmed doctors. We've filmed scientists. We're filming different people, and we're putting them all on there. And so you can go back and refresh your memory. You can, you can hear about someone who has a diabetic foot wound, and bam, I told them right away in the videos. The minute you hear this in a social environment, make sure you pick up the phone and call us. And it's repetition, repetition, repetition. Um, Julian, where are you? If she's, she's looking at, at the art business, et cetera, if she set up a subscription basis on what she does over a period of time, and that audience is sent out to through several different mediums, from getting a list, from getting people to subscribe, over a period of time, just like the two times two, four times four, 16 times 78, I don't know that answer. It's repetition. The average infomercial, as I mentioned, is 11 exposures before somebody buys the skinny hose or buys cosmetics or anything else. You have to have that repetition and stay in front of them on a regular basis. In this, skin, you can put anything you want down here. You can, you can design a template so easy today. We're here to for when Ben and I came down from the mountain, Oh my God, we'd spend weeks putting together one little bitty screen and the overlays and the, uh, the trouble that we went through. And now you can build a template and put it in there and you can change it every week and you can put a new video in it. And you can shoot 15 of those on a Saturday and load them into a system that's telling your story and preaching the gospel of what you want to do and how you're going to do it on a continuing basis, all preloaded, just boom, boom, boom. And then you encourage people who aren't interested just to drop out. And eventually, those people who are really interested begin to create that cash flow for you and give you the, 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 the moxie that you need to get the reputation. Then you start putting the testimonials on the website. Next one, Scotty. Hello, everyone, and welcome to OxygenIsHealth.com. My name is Russ Chason, and I'm going to share with you for a few moments some very critical and basic information. And it's critical because it's about your overall health. 
It's about the most important substance in your life. And you say, well, what's the most important substance? Well, let's take a look at it. We all know that we can go 30 or 45 days without food if we're in decent shape, five to 10 days without water, but we defy anybody to take the substance, the critical substance called oxygen, and try to exist for more than five or 10 or 15 minutes by holding your breath. It just doesn't happen. And so what we want to do is talk about what's going on in our environment. We know that it's polluted with the air. The food we eat is loaded with it, and cytotoxins and, and things that have residue in them. And so what we want to do is talk about how do we get more oxygen into the body. And it's critical that we do that because things like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, stress, everything keeps popping up on a day-to-day -day basis. We get very tired, we get drawn out. We need to spark plug the body. The body is nothing but trillions of cells. And in the center of that cell, we have something called the mitochondria that makes it explode. And so we have to get more oxygen in the body. It's critical. And you don't have to take my word for it. Let's take a look at what some of the top physicians in the world have to say about it. Here's what Dr. Arthur Guyton, MD, author of the textbook of medical physiology says. All chronic pain and suffering and diseases are caused by a lack of oxygen at the cellular level. Here's how Dr. John Muntz, nutritional scientist, puts it. Starved of oxygen, the body will become ill, and if it persists, it will die. I doubt if there's any argument about that. Dr. Norman McVeigh probably sums it up best. More than anything else, good health and well-being is dependent on the maximum production and maintenance and flow of energy, which is produced by oxygen. In today's environment, we receive only about half of the oxygen that our bodies are designed to run on in order to experience maximum energy and dynamic okay, health. So, so you can well, there you have it, some of the top men. So once again, you can have your website up here. A lot of the services where you can get these videos out on a regular basis, we embed a code. So at the end of the video, it goes straight to the website, no click necessary. So you embed code in, you just drag the code in that they present for you in the system, and it goes right to the website. So if a person's watched it till the end, a lot of times you've got to click here, they're gone. But we take them right to the website, right at the end of it. So if they have an interest in that product and they're very interested in it, they're going to go right to the website. So a lot of this is a prospecting tool that allows you to create interest, create a subscriber base that's interested in your product or service. Excellent, Scott. Hello, everyone. My name is Russ Chasad. And I want to personally thank you for taking time from what we know in today's world is probably a very busy schedule. We also want to shout out a big thank you out there to the person who invited you to take a look at this program because obviously they care a lot about you and they care about the world they live in, the community they live in. And you're going to, you're going to see that story unfold in just a few minutes. The purpose of this video is to take an old saying, an old adage, and bring it to life, to bring it back. We hear a lot today about uh, the rhetoric of uh, bring back America, make the world a better place to live, write your congressman, let's get involved, et cetera. Well, the problem with that is we know that we're all very busy. We know that the economic situation in this country does not allow us to do a lot of things that traditionally we used to be able to do. So this is all about people helping people, people sharing with people, okay, all the way start. from so once again, you can keep everything branded here. It's interactive. It's going on, hopefully holding their attention. And of course, a lot of it begins with finding the people who are interested in helping other people. And that's like the nonprofits, the churches, the schools. We've had tremendous, tremendous success with this. Because a lot of people <clears throat> right now in this country want to tithe. They want to participate. They want to be involved in their community. But the cash is short. This gives them an opportunity by just receiving text from Nike and other people. They make a contribution to the local organization in their neighborhood. We're getting a huge response across America. Hundreds of thousands of people are participating in their own community because when they go to the local vendor, we bring the vendor and the texture together. And when they get that icon to go in to get their pizza, a percentage of that goes to their church, goes to their school, goes to the Boy Scouts. And so there's a million ways to get the message out that you are creating today with your product and service. Next one, Scott. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Russ Chason, and I want to thank you for taking time from a busy schedule to visit with us for just a few minutes. 
The purpose of the video that you're going to see is to introduce you to an individual who's dedicated his whole life to making the world a better place to live. And I know we hear that a lot today, but it, as this quick video unfolds, you'll see where Congressman Billy Tosin, at a very, very young age, was unprecedented in his actions in the House of Representatives in Louisiana. He went on to Congress in the United States for over 25 years. During that tenure, he was struck with an incurable cancer and was told he had a very short time to live and decided to give it a good fight. He took an experimental drug that had less than a 1% chance of uh, healing him and curing him, and he won. And with that experience, he decided to dedicate the rest of his life to bringing products and services in the medical field to the marketplace. He became CEO and president of Pharma, which is the trade association that represents all the uh, drug companies and pharmaceutical companies and medical devices to get him into the market properly. And as a result of that, he saw the need to support our veterans in many, many, many ways. And so he's dedicated his life to that. He helped support building a museum for their love and their dedication in Louisiana down in New Orleans. And he'll share that with you in this quick video. So here to tell you the story of his love and passion for our veterans and about pure care and a new product, VHD, vaporous hyperoxia therapy, he's going to share with you. And we ask you to pay attention, and when you hear about the problem with diabetic foot sores, and you hear the problems uh, with wounds that heretofore have not been able to be healed, we want you to pick up the phone and, and call someone and share with them this video and the story of VHT. So thanks for being here, and as always, have a super day. Billy, I know that you had a, a, a real desire to work with the, the veterans coming back yeah. and working with those people. Uh, tell us how, how you, you see Cure Care working into that. Well, it, 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 again, if Cure Care just doesn't work on diabetic wounds. It works on all kinds of wounds. And to the extent that, for example, um, uh, you might have burns and even restore pigments uh, in some of the chest we've seen. Yeah. Um, we know that it works on sores. You know, we've got soldiers right now that are bedridden because of the injuries. And uh, treating bed sores is an awful problem. Well, we know that may help some of these wounds heal faster. Take our veterans, for example, in the VA hospitals. And, uh, so many veterans are getting older and older and having uh, problems with these kinds of diseases, some old injuries when you know, they fought for uh, world, world peace in World War II and, and, and uh, you know, saved the, the whole planet for democracy around the world. And they came back wounded. And, and not only did nobody ever say thank you to them, but they came back wounded for the rest of their lives. To think that a product like this might make their lives better in the last few years. That's enough, Scott. Uh, it's kind of nice. So once again, you can see that Cure Care is there, the number, the website, congressman espousing the virtues of it, showing the veterans and people who are really hurting. And of course, we go on and talk about the product itself, how it works, subscribe to it, see it on a regular basis. And you build that credibility. The problem today, we know as a fact, as we study the insides of what's going on in the communication realm today with technology, that people are very, very skeptical with the webinars and the behind the scenes. And that's why we call it look them in the eye, is look them in the eye, be a friend, learn to love them, put some emotion into it, give the credibility to your product or service. And so the people in this room that have that passion, I mean, I was sitting in the back just watching Adrian and just, just kind of watching you people and stand up and talk about what you love and what you want to do. And you got to get that message across once you get your product or you're trying to raise the money or you're trying to get somebody to participate with you as a joint venture. A lot of it's got to do with the passion that you express. And once that product's up and out and you're going to market it to the world, get your face on there, get your heart on there, get your passion on those videos. I was listening to everybody tonight and it just brings tears to your eyes when you hear some of your people talk about the love and passion that you have. And that's what you got to get across in these videos on an ongoing basis because people are punched out today, guys. There's so much mundo foo foo garbage on the internet that people are really getting skeptical. And if you look them in the eye and tell them who you are, and if you don't like what you see, just opt out. But if you do, we're going to we're going to educate you. We want you to come as a friend and leave as family. And that may take a week.
It may take two weeks. It may take a month. But if you've got hundreds of thousands of people that are watching this on an ongoing basis and you bring them down that funnel and you keep communicating with them face to face, they'll become familiar with you. And when you have a doctor espousing the virtues, as you saw, of what you do, and you keep doing that on an ongoing basis, it hits in their head that, I did that once before. I put my money in on the internet. I got garbage. Or I did this and I got garbage and it didn't work. And so a lot of this is repetition, repetition, repetition. The human mind works that way, always has from the beginning of time. But it's really important now because of the, mundo, I call it mundo fufu, all the garbage that's on the internet with the get rich quick schemes and all the cures for this, that, and the other. And so the last one that we're gonna take a look at just real quick is something you can do that, that we did recently and it got some really nice response for the uh, function that Adrian had with Congressman Duncan Hunter. You can do video information, uh, invitations. I would encourage Adrian that you let me do a video invitation for your next function like this and get a couple of your people to come up and invite the general public to come join here with the, uh, you know, with the technology society. So let's take a look at the last one. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Russ Chason and I want to thank you for taking time from a busy schedule to visit with us for just a few minutes. The purpose of this video is to extend to you a very special invitation to come and meet a very special individual who's going to be introducing to you and sharing with you a very special medical technology. Next Friday afternoon, January 24th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the address that you see right down below, right in San Marcos, at the Cure Care facility. Congressman Duncan Hunter is going to be visiting with us, coming in from Washington. And we're going to be sharing with you a technology that is, is helping so many people that have bed sores and diabetic foot wounds and things that heretofore have not been able to be closed. This technology is getting it done in record time. Um, many of these have had uh, sores and problems for two, three, four, five years. And this new technology with an oxygen uh, generator and a, a concept of vaporous hyperoxia therapy is getting the job done. So we'd like to invite you to come out and meet and greet one of the most uh, well-loved people in Congress today and an individual who's accomplishing a lot and cares about it. Let you be a part of this movement, this concept of bringing back America. And when you see this, you'll want to share it at your church, at your school, your community, and everybody you're in touch with. Because, you know, when people get together, they say, how's so-and-so doing? They usually bring up what the problem is. And if that problem comes up, we have a way to solve it. So we invite you to come out to the address below. And oh, by the way, uh, one, of the, one of the finest uh, sushi restaurants uh, in La Jolla and over at Forest Ranch is going to have a sushi spread for us. So come out and have a TGIF with uh, Congressman Duncan Hunter and the team at Cure Care Incorporated and learn how you can be a part of Bringing Back America. So thanks, and we look forward to seeing you on Friday the 24th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the address below. Thanks again, and as always, have a super day. Okay, so you can see all the different venues, the different ways you can do it. You can brand yourself. And, and again, when Ben and I started years ago, this stuff was so hard to do. You can build these templates. You can put your website on them. You can put references on them. You can do so many things to drip on people when you want to raise money, when you want to get people involved in your project. And so the net net end result is, is repetition, 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 and get the people who want to be a part of what you're doing. And you can do that by giving them the information on an ongoing basis, on a continuing basis. And I can guarantee you, uh, Ben, I don't remember, but we spent a lot of money to do this kind of thing years ago. Now you can produce 15 videos on a Saturday, load them in for two or three minute videos, load them in for the month, and you can do that very, very inexpensively. Because once those templates are built and everything's put in place, you have the opportunity to be in front of people on an ongoing basis. So um, I consider it an honor and a privilege to be with the, you people tonight because you are the epitome of what we're talking about in bringing back America. You're stepping out, you're grunting, you're fighting, you're pushing, you're finding ways to bring your passion to the world. And there's no better way to do it than letting them see your face, let them feel your passion. And if you want to participate in that, we'll make sure because of Adrian's love for what 
what uh, this organization does. We'll make it easy for you to participate, get some videos out for you that you can share with the rest of the world. So um, I grew up in South Louisiana, and I want to say, Meshach, thank you. That was a good time to be with you tonight. Yeah, I wish I had some crawfish out there that we could go have. So thanks. It's been a spot of heaven. And in Louisiana, <laughs> at, at night, at night when you're out with the boys and you might have had a beer or two and we all leave and we say keep it between the ditches because in Louisiana the marshland down where I grew up down in Thibodeau Louisiana down on the bayou the ditches are the marsh and if you don't keep it between the ditches and you go off your car sinks down and it's bye-bye so keep it between the ditches